Ola Libra Sun, Virgo Moons, this is the first portion of your 2018 reading. You might want to listen to the intro so you know how it works instead of skipping over it. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. To be a blip of time or a longer period in 2018, please have patience regarding these readings. I'm doing 144 in totality, and you guys are actually number 100, so I've hit the 100 mark. Yay! Um, I'm doing them in the order of most requested in the comments. So please check my playlist to make sure your request hasn't already been done. Um, that will be helpful. Now, the first portion of this video is here on YouTube, where I will read the textbook definition of your sun moon sign while I'm shuffling the cards to get your energies into the cards. Then I will lay out the main cards. Then I will state the positions. Oh, I'll state the positions while I'm doing that and what the cards are. Okay. At which time, if I see a theme... I will throw a couple themes out there so you kind of get an idea if it might resonate. Um, then the video ends. You may go ahead and look up the interpretations of the cards or you may click on the second part, I mean to get to the second portion of the video, click on the Vimeo link below to purchase the second portion where you will have my interpretation in addition to clarifiers. It ends up being anywhere from a 15 minute to a 20 minute video. I am doing this for people who cannot afford personal readings. This is a little more of a personal reading, at, and it's really not that much money. I mean, so I wanted to do something so people could have something a little more personal for people who can't do personals, all right? I shouldn't have to explain that anyways, but some people have just been rude. A small amount of you, but regardless. Um, things to keep in mind, I'm on Instant Go text only for a quick answer to a quick question, no phone or video chat at this time. And then finally, if this reading resonates with you, if you like my style of reading, consider a personal reading. My rates and my info are below. In addition to my email, just send me an email. We can go ahead and set that up, okay? So, your textbook definition for Libra Sun, Virgo Moon. You have a strong need to express yourself and express your views. Bashfulness and timidity often stop you from meeting the right people, even though you want very much to be well-liked. Instead of trying so much to win social recognition by being what you believe people want you to be, you have to learn to be yourself. In your combination, there is a bonding of the logical ability and critical faculties of Virgo, along with the aesthetic understanding and social consciousness of Libra, making you a very insightful and rational individual. Until you are asked a question or your views are requested, you are calm, reserved, and a little standoffish. After that, you will answer with a long lecture. You like to examine and reason things out, and you're essentially excellent at that. Your interpretations are most always correct. Two Libra Virgos are William Faulkner and Miguel Cervantes, and their work shows the extraordinary insight of this combination. You may find yourself compromising some of your very high ideals just to be part of the group. Being with the right people can increase your influence, so you should attempt to broaden the intellectual and creative talents you can give to the world. Areas such as the legal field, social services, writing, and the medical profession can use your extraordinary insight and logical ability. You can easily get perplexed and agitated if your surroundings are tension-filled, and like all Libras, you need calm, accord, and equilibrium. Look inside yourself to find peace of mind. Quiet contemplation and meditation are excellent for the high-strung Libra Virgo. Equilibrium, form, and design are your special talents. You find it difficult to think if the colors in your office do not match or the furniture is somehow not arranged right. Both at work and home, it is absolutely necessary that your environment is synchronized with your preferences. You are fulfilled through work, as are all members of the moon in Virgo. You are trusted and esteemed by all who know you for your dedication, conscientious, conscientiousness, and sincerity. Do not let work become the be-all and end-all for you. You will be less apt to fall into a been-there-done-that outlook of act acquiescence, I have a hard time with that word, if you develop external interests and try to enjoy as many of life's offerings as possible. Libra Virgo people often suffer from nervousness and anxiety, and I just dropped a card. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you guys. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Libra Sun Virgo Moons for 2018? Can you show us what surrounds them at this present time or when they came to view this video. Can you show us what they left in 2017? Can you show them what is coming or what is something they can expect in 2018? 
Where should they focus their energies in 2018 and what is the general outcome for 2018? Please grab an objectivity to read these cards as they're intended to be read and say your messages as you intend to be said for Libra Sun, Virgo Moons for 2018. Okay. So Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me where Libra Sun, Virgo Moons are at this present time or when they came to view this video? Can you please show me where they are? Virgo Sun, Libra Moons. We came to view this video. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Can you show what they came out of? Okay, what you left behind in 2017, we have the Six of Wands in reverse. This kind of looks similar to the previous Libra. I think it was Libra Scorpio I did. Um, can you please show us something that Libra Sun Virgo Moons can expect in 2018? We have the Devil in the Upright. Focus your energies on the sun in reverse. And then finally, general outcome for Libra Sun, Virgo Moons. Oh gosh. Anytime it's a Virgo, there's multiple cards that pull out. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Okay, good. So if you guys, well, sort of good, not really. <laughs> if you guys want to see, um, maybe a period in the past where you lacked confidence, but then you ended up coming out of a lot of the strong emotions associated with that. In addition to possibly running into the devil and or a Capricorn in 2018 or not being able to get out of a situation, click on the link below. I'm also seeing in 2018 for your general outcome, a good money situation, finance situation. Okay. So Click on the link below to go to Vimeo. We'll go over this a little bit deeper. If you do not care to do so, you are absolutely under no obligation. As I have stated, this is for people that want a little bit extra. Um, otherwise, I will see you Libra Sun Virgo Moons for your general love reading.